Chris here, and we've just finished our first day of engaging with the leadership contract and leadership accountability. And I guess the thing you'd say after a day like today is the first thing that really comes to mind is it doesn't matter who you are as a leader, you have to have chosen to want to do it and be aware of what that accountability and what that obligation is. And I think secondly, and it really struck me personally, was the most important thing you can do as a leader is keep working on yourself. So we all have this long list of tasks to do. We have jobs that are never as, you know, as many as you can fit in the day. You've always got to be thinking about how am I working on myself as a leader so that I'm doing a better job of the obligation and the privilege of leadership. We are 12 people who have come together because of our functional expertise. And one of the most interesting things is how that group then works together and what was Perhaps the most incredible thing was the unifying energy everyone has to figure out ways for us to be a really high performing team. There's lots of energy in the room for us as a first team to exemplify that desire to uh, support each other, have each other's backs, uh, drive for an outperformance versus the external competition we face. Just a really energizing day. Um, my leadership insights from today were to collaborate to support my teammates really early on, like right at the beginning, and that involves being less critical and less evaluative and just offering support and help and those sorts of things. And the second one was to make sure that I bring the humour, enthusiasm and optimism that's a natural part of my personality, but can kind of lighten those moments that can be a bit heavy. I think inherently we all know um, kind of the core of uh, good leadership, but uh, it's being mindful to actually practice them and ask the questions that help you get there. Uh, and try and practice them more actively. So good listening uh, and asking lots of good questions. We're all really busy, um, but committing the time uh, and committing the space to have uh, uh, done the prep work uh, is always really a good start. But when you're in the room, be present, uh, put the phone down, put the laptop away, uh, and really actively engage with your colleagues and your peers, because it's an investment you don't get to make every day, uh, and take the time to make the investment. We talk in the business, don't we, about different forms of training, whether it's on the job, experiential training courses, and as you go through your working life, you go to lots of training and come away with varying degrees of happiness. I think everybody should come at this particular piece saying, this is really worthwhile. You're going to enjoy it, you're going to get a lot out of it. There's a, a lot of very pithy content that connected very easily with us all. Um, this is, this is a, a course you want to go on. This is really, really powerful stuff.